All right, guys. So everything's uploading now. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lord. I was able to meet the deadline this week. Today, I am scheduled for a very important event, um, and it's about to happen in a few minutes. Mabu High Squad, the thing that's about to happen today is. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. I'm doing a talk for influencers. Yes, it's for a group called Buy Social, um, and it's gonna be a panel. So I'm gonna be there and answer a few questions about being an influencer, giving tips to new influencers. So um, yeah, this should be fun. I love doing these things and helping the next generation of social media influencers and creators. Oh, MG, look at this cake. <gasps> this here is from Buy Social, the um, organization for which I'm doing the talk later. Wow, uh, thank you so much, Buy Social. RJ, this is amazing. Oh, there's, oh wait, there's a note from Chef Carrie. Awesome, thank you so much. Ooh, she personally baked it as a token of appreciation for the awesome talk you have shared to us, or will share rather. My kids are a really huge fan of you and your content. I hope you will continue to inspire all your supporters in what you are doing. Well, thank you so much, Chef Carrie. That's great. Oh my goodness. It's all gold. Gold is everything. Mmm, I want to eat it. I see strawberries, donuts, and I can't get over all of that gold leaf that was used. I almost don't want to eat it. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. This is serious, this cake. Oh my, okay, so, mmm, this is my breakfast. All right, like, what is it? Like, is the whole thing gold? Oh my, the inside is chocolate. Oh my gosh, see? Let's try it. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is a really good, mmm, chocolate cake. Oh, mmm, that is so good. It's, it's like moist. I know you guys don't like that word. Moist and so chocolatey, good quality chocolate cake. Guys, this cake's expensive. We looked it up on their Instagram. Wow, so special, guys. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, Chef, it's so yummy. Chef Carrie, mmm. No wonder there's like a layer of like real rich chocolate. How rude of me, guys. Here, open. Oh, oh my god, ah! Sorry, I'll get you another piece. Here, guys, the makeup thing. Open, open, open. Mmm, yummy. Uh, is it good? Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my gosh, this is. Good quality cake. Okay, there's more. I want a strawberry with it. Oh my gosh, and there's even like strawberry on it already. I mean chocolate on it already. And I have it with the gold. Mmm. 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 Guys, go check out Chef Carrie's baking room on Instagram, guys. This is really good cake. Try the donut. Open, 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 open. Mmm. Mmm. Good donut. What's it? There's even a gold leaf donut. Wow. Mmm. It's all so good. Wow. Guys, seriously, my favorite part is the inside. The gold is cool, but the inside of the chocolate is so good. This, this is one of the best chocolate cakes I've ever had. Five Mabuhay stars. <laughs> And guys, usually I'm not that big of a fan of like, you know, like, unless it's ice cream cake or cheesecake. But this I am a fan of. Mmm. Oh, it's so good and cold. Anyway, thanks guys for eating this cake with me. This was the most delicious and luxurious breakfast I've ever had. Mmm. Oh. My. Yum. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Alright guys, watch this. Here's a past vlog. You guys know this bird, right? This here's Ligaya, our African gray parrot. Now watch what happens when- Never, never, huh? It's like- pre When I play the vlog and she makes noise. Oh. There. <laughs> See? Oh that Is that size? <laughs> Cypher remembers Ligaya. Who's that? Do you know who that is? I know, I miss her too. 
Cypher totally remembers Ligaya. Here, Cypher, look, it's Ligaisies. See? Acting real Cypher. funny. It's Ligaya. Ligaya it's Ligaya. Are you asking your toys to pet you? To give you a head scratch? Maybe I'll buy a machine that can give you You're automatic head scratches. I noticed that when I'd watch old vlogs of Ligaya, Cypher would go barking like crazy. She's not here. It's just a video. He totally remembers her and I believe he misses her too. Man, I really, really miss Ligaya. I, I've been watching previous vlogs of Ligaya, our late African Grey Parrot who died late last year. We had her for two years and she passed away from a nervous digestive condition called PDD. Um, normally caused by a virus, but after we did the test for this virus, it came out negative. So we're not sure what had caused it, but I've really been missing her lately. And I really enjoyed watching old vlogs of Ligaya. Now, in some of the astrological videos that I watch on YouTube, you know, like tarot card readers and astrologists, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I don't follow it hardcore, but for some reason I find the videos entertaining whether or not they are true or if they happen. But apparently now, according to the stars, it's the season of the wounded healer, which apparently for me um, meant that uh, this week, I'm supposed to find some kind of closure um, and heal old wounds. You know, when I when I heard the astrologer saying that on several channels, I'm like, okay, let's see how I will be finding closure. Not sure how that's gonna happen. And then I just started watching the Gaia videos over again. And I suddenly came to a realization. Initially, I had bought the Gaia because I've always wanted an African Grey Parrot and it's always been a dream of mine to have an African Grey and just have like a large bird, you know, an intelligent, sentient bird. See what life was like living with it. But this week, I realized that Ligaya came into me and RJ's life for a big, big reason. So here it is. Just as a backgrounder, let's rewind to 2017. So 2017 for RJ and I, was definitely our busiest year and probably our most, I guess, successful year uh, career-wise. Or maybe just, we were just constantly working, you know what I mean? Like there was no room for anything else, it was just work, morning to night. So we had several key viral videos on the comedy channel. Um, that was the year we released Speedos. Our Despacito parody, which was our most viewed viral video of our entire careers um, with over 200 million views collectively. We had several that year, in fact. So we were busy doing that. And then also the Ants Canada channel started to really, really pick up as well. Production was up to notch and I was able to get more um, ant colonies. So the Ants Canada channel started to see its glory years as well in 2017. And also that was the year that we started the daily vlogs um, on the comedy channel. So I was doing that as well. So all three channels, doing it all myself, obviously vlogging every single day of our lives. Um, we also had a lot of bookings around the world. So we were in the middle of, of all of that craziness. We were touring. It was really crazy. That year we had 79 flights. Like literally we were on a jet every week somewhere in the world. Um, so, you know, it was really, really crazy. Those years are kind of a blur to me because I don't know how I did it, guys. I was basically editing morning to night and working and performing and filming and just everything. So yeah, we were kind of crazy that year. And that continued for one year. And then in 2018, RJ and I decided to go visit a bird breeder named Tita Nora. Um, and when we did, we fell in love with Ligaya. 
And the Gaia fell in love with us. We saw this little tiny African grape carrot. So the choice was so easy. We're like, yes, let's get it. So the moment Legaya came into our lives, it began a whole slew of life changes. It was a chain reaction, guys. Now get this. So we have this little baby bird, right? And we're caring for it. And this bird needed to be fed every, what, however many times a day, right? It was literally a baby. Um, and so we couldn't travel and to be honest, we didn't want to travel. I didn't want to travel because I wanted to take care of this bird. You know what I mean? And we couldn't separate from the bird because this bird was bonding with us and you know, we didn't want it to be depressed. So we ended up stopping traveling. Like it almost, it pretty much stopped cold turkey. And then, oops, oops it's raining in my fire ant setup. Okay, wait, I'll wait for the rain to stop. Rain, rain, go away. So we decided to not accept as many long distance out of the country projects so that we could stay with this bird. Um, dedicated my life to learning about caring for parrots and birds. It was a really awesome, awesome learning experience. Yeah, like as soon as I started getting more and more involved in this bird's life, we felt like we needed to slow things down, you know? Jaya, the editor of our vlogs, had joined our team, but I also needed a new team for Ants Canada, so because I wanted to spend more time with the bird, after slowing down our work pace, I started to realize, you know what, this is actually better for my mental health to not work morning to night, seven days a week. So we started to bring people into our team to help me edit the Ants Canada videos, spending more time with the bird, and at home, RJ and I could actually spend more time together, like as a couple although yes we were a couple during 2017 during the craziness i do feel like our romantic and intimate life was affected because we were working so much like it got to the point where we were we would always argue we would always fight he was really stressed it was bad but like you know what i mean like there was definitely in 2017 imbalance that caused sort of our relationship um, problem between RJ and I. But after getting Ligaya, it kind of softened us and also allowed us to spend more quality time with each other because we would book places to go just to bring Ligaya. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? And somehow, Ligaya also helped RJ and I get to this better place in our relationship. And then eventually, we decided to come out. Like, it got to that point, guys. Like, all these changes started happening. Like, it started from us not working as hard to now spending more time at home to now spending more time, time with each other, enjoying each other's company, being less stressed. And then to the point where we're like, you know what? Let's come out to the world. Uh, so we did, so Ligaya was with us for that. And then also around this time, I started to realize that this condo was not enough space for Ligaya. Cause I wanted Ligaya to fly, to free fly, to have lots of space. So I was like, RJ, let's start looking for a house, like a, a property to build, uh, to build a house in maybe. We'll, we'll build a huge aviary in the middle of, of the home. And that's what caused RJ and I to go property shopping, where we eventually found the Mabuhai Squad farm lot, which we bought in also 2018, I believe. So yeah, Ligaya was the reason we bought the Mabuhai Squad farm. Ligaya was on my shoulder when we went land shopping, right? You guys saw that vlog. I was like, Ligaya, do you like this lot? Do you think we could live here? You know, that kind of thing. Um, we designed the house with Ligaya in mind. We made sure there were no ceiling fans. There was a three-story aviary, of course, in the middle of the house for Ligaya, high ceiling so Ligaya could fly around. It was like that. So she's the reason why we also got the property. And then came the pandemic and at that time, literally, I think it was the month we were on lockdown, Ligaya started to show symptoms of her PDD. Also, during this pandemic last year, Cypher came into our lives, our puppy, given to us by our cousin, Ed, Mark, and Nika. And I realized that I think, in a way, Ligaya saw how happy we were with Cypher. Like, I, we were happy as one big family. Ligaya on my shoulder and Cypher as our dog. We'd all play together. You guys saw those vlogs. But in a way, I almost feel like Ligaya was like, you know, my work is done now. I almost feel like somehow Cypher coming into our lives was the final step and the final thing that Ligaya was waiting for before 
she chose to leave us last year. <sighs> no, I don't want to cry. Okay, wait. And so I do feel like Legaya came into our lives for a very big and important reason. And that is to teach RJ and I that life should not be all about work, you know, about making the, making the dough. It should be about balance, finding joy, which is what her name means, right? Ligaya in Filipino means joy. Finding joy in a balanced life. And so Ligaya really taught us that, like, yes, you need to work. You need to make money, but there should be balance. There should be harmony with your relationships. There should be um, time spent at home instead of always traveling. Um, you know, there should be investment in one's future, where you're gonna stay, you know, that kind of thing. I don't think RJ and I would have ever thought of like going property shopping had Legaya not come into our lives. We would probably still be working seven days a week like crazy with no team members you know what i mean like doing all things myself and then probably that would take a toll on my health too and also on my relationship with rj we would probably be a miserable wreck right now if it wasn't for ligaya teaching us that you know we now have a farm on the way and so i realized thanks to the astrological chart or astrological alignment of the stars and planets this wounded healer, I, I've managed to get my closure now that Ligaya came into our lives to teach us those lessons that life needs to be joyful by way of balance. And I do miss her, I miss Ligaya, I miss the parrot, but yeah, I do feel like she came into our lives for a big, big reason, a bigger reason than just, oh, she's a pet bird that came into our lives, that was a great experience. All right, no, she really changed my life, RJ's life forever in a big, big major way. Ah, uh, sorry for this like long rant, but I just had this realization this week um, about Ligaya. Now a lot of you guys are asking, are you thinking of getting birds again? Yes, I don't know what birds, probably for the aviary small birds like budgies. Um, or cockatiels, lovebirds, that kind of thing. We might rescue birds, but if we're gonna get a parrot, like a full-sized parrot, not sure yet. I've asked RJ and he says he's not ready to get another African Grey. I think it's too painful for us still. Um, even watching the vlogs is like sad. Um, and seeing Cypher miss Legaya too. But who knows? Who knows what the future holds? And you know, it was funny, we were just talking. Imagine if Sahara is like Legaya um, reincarnated. <laughs> she rejoined our family as Sahara so she could play with Cypher properly and like be with us properly. I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm super grateful to that African Grey for changing our lives. Thank you for listening to this long, long speech. Do you guys feel like animals come into our lives for a reason? I believe they do. All right guys, I'm ready for my Q&A panel for bi-social event. This should be fun. <laughs> I tried to put on something decent, even though I've been in a quarantine uniform these past few days. Lockdown uniform, I should say. Okay, so this should be fun. Um, I'll be going live in half an hour, but I'm ready. And I'm getting Cypher's coffee. Oh, I think, wait, I think this coat hanger can be seen. All right, I'm ready. Archie's bringing the dogs upstairs in case they decide to bark. Um, okay, let's do this. OMG, events nowadays. Okay guys, so on now is a Filipino creator from Davao called Davao Konyo. Very popular creator. So I believe I'm after him. So he's doing a sharing, I think, on his story. We are currently in back end. We're in the waiting room. It's so cool, the technology now, the streaming technology. But um, it's the one year anniversary of this um, influencer group. You guys remember when two years ago, RJ and I traveled to Cebu, right? For their event. 
Because well, th this year it's and last year it was online. They've been kind enough to invite me again this year. To me, OMG, personally, we're going I am for and even right now. I do watch his vlogs for his daily positive vibes. Yes, I watch your vlogs. I am really a fan, a certified Mabuhay squad. So let me introduce to you. He is a Canadian-born Filipino singer, songwriter, performer, comedian, actor, video maker, and an online personality. Help me welcome Mikey Bustos as he will share his journey as a content creation through a question and answer. Hi, Mikey! Hi! Hello! Hey! Yes, How happy bi social day! I'm very well. Lockdown, but happy it's okay. Happy bi social day, Mikey! Yes, congrats! Yeah, so how's your day today? Are you still in lockdown, right? Yeah, we're in lockdown. Just hanging out um, with my pets and trying to keep busy. Yeah. Yeah, yes. say hi to Cypress to Sahara, right? Oh, th oh thank you so much for guys. watching the vlogs. Really appreciate yes, it. Yes, I do. I do, Mikey. Like, yeah, I've been watching you. I travel around the globe, but I've, every time I meet a foreigner, when they ask about Balot, just share Mikey Wusus about the Pinoy tutorial about Balot, and yeah, they'll understand what Balot already is. Yes, hello everybody on social media, on Facebook, wherever you're watching. Hi there, uh, Pinoy boy Mikey Bustos here, and um, I'm here to help all of those who want to be creators, or who are creators, or who are just curious as to what the content creation process is like. All right, and we're done. That was fast and easy. Yes, woo, free day. But now, guys, it's time to prepare because I am meeting with the cousins online for a nice chilling time virtually over some drinks like a bunch of adults that we are. You gotta learn to relax. You work hard, but you also gotta play. Remember what I said about balance? <laughs> I'm gonna be losing my balance after drinking all the beers and wine, but that's okay. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Cheers, guys. I miss you guys in person. Look at their Mr. and Mrs. B mugs. There's Rax. Yes. Hi. We'll be able to do this in real life soon. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Yes. A brand new day. Beautiful Sunday morning. Check it out. Sunny Sunday. Awesome. Beautiful, right? Oh, just great weather. All right, guys. Positive affirmation time for Sunday, April the 11th. Life consistently supplies all my needs in great abundance. Ooh, love that. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. Yay! Up next, guys, I think is something you all will love. RJ and I can't wait to do it. Mabu High Squad, check out what we're doing now. 